Hi, I'm Jamie Murray and today I'm going to give you a couple of exercises to help improve your net game. The first volley is an incredibly important shot in the doubles game. The important thing is that depending on how good your serve is, if you're able to play a good first volley, you're going to put your team in a good position for the rest of the point. First exercise, imagine you have serve from a regular position. I'm going to come forward. I'm going to play the volley from probably just behind the service line. That's my goal. And then I hit the volley and then I come to this position here and then I'm ready to play the point from then on. We're going to have targets out to sort of distinguish the territory that I need to aim for uh, on the court. Okay, so I'm coming in, I'm playing first volley and then I'm cutting to position here. Alan is now feeding as if I've done a serve down the tee. So I'm focusing on getting my eyes down to the ball, getting as much of my body underneath the ball and then I'm playing this target cross court here to make my opponent move as much as he possibly can from full stretch on the forehand return to then have a full run into his backhand down here. Very difficult to cover that ground and also hit an aggressive shot for his second ball. The second variation to this drill is setting up as if we're playing against two guys who are playing at the baseline. We try to target the backhand of the juice side player if he's a right handed player that is. I'm coming from a regular position as if I've served potentially into the body of Charlie or out wide into his forehand and I'm going to come in and play the volley down the middle, cut off all angle for him. Oh! I'm trying to put it onto Charlie's backhand, get him moving and then if he hits it back to me then again I've opened up the court to play a shorter more angled volley away from him to run. like that. Second exercise we are going to work on today is how to get back quickly for a smash. Um, it involves a running step, so I'm going to teach you how to do that. Very important to get back for a smash as quick as you can, because once the ball goes over your head, once the ball's got a bounce, that gives your opponent a big advantage in the point. Essentially, you should be obviously facing the court. You see the lob go up. First step is to come back here, and then almost like you're running backwards, but your head and your body still pointing forward facing the court and then you're ready to do a big jump to smash. Footwork is incredibly important for the smash to get back quick, to get underneath the ball. Anytime you can take the ball out of the air, it's a positive for you and your partner and your efforts to win the point. If the ball's going out and I've done a good running smash, I shouldn't be able to touch the ball. But anything else that's going in, should be able to smash it. <coughs> All right, I hope you enjoyed the two exercises that you learned today and you can incorporate them into your next practice on the course.